In this video, I'll be showing you how to auto-populate your snippets with dynamic content from Datablaze tables. In another video, I showed you how to save your snippet form data into Datablaze. But TextBlaze can also read from Datablaze tables. Here's how it works. In my Datablaze table, I click on Snippets and go to Use Row. This shows me a preview of what my new snippet will look like. In the new snippet, let's change the label and shortcut to something more relevant and try it out. Notice how this dropdown contains the entries from the name column and the corresponding data from the count column for each row. Now let's head back to our snippet to understand how it works. This is the command that tells TextBlaze to read information from my database table. Notice that there are two labels. These correspond to the column names inside my table. You can also see them in the command sidebar and one of them is already inside the snippet contents. This setting creates the drop-down menu we saw earlier containing all the entries in my column. Let's customize the text and add the count variable. Time to try out our snippet, but before I do that, I'm going to change one of the values in the count column. Now I type my shortcut and once again we have our drop-down with the data points from the name column and the corresponding data from the count column for each row. Notice that the count for Sally has changed to reflect the new value I entered earlier. Here's another example of how you can create a task tracker by combining TextBlaze with Datablaze. Notice how the snippet gave me a list of all the rows in the table which are not marked as complete. Because the link between TextBlaze and Datablaze is dynamic, your snippets will always read the latest data in the table. To learn more about how to automate your writing without giving up your personal touch, please subscribe to our channel.